Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to do the Wide Max kit on this red truck that I have here. Um, in the next video, we're going to be doing suspension pins on it because the last video I did these on didn't work out so well, so we're going to redo that one. And here's the arms and everything that we're going to be putting on this truck. I'm going to be doing this one in steps. I've already done... I've already done one Wide Max kit on my buddy's truck, the Orange Arms. Um, video came out okay, but it could have came out better to me. I'm going to do a playlist on the Wide Max kit installation and break it up into sections. The first thing we're going to start with is doing the shocks. Because you've got to install the new shock springs on the rear shocks and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Let's do the shocks, and then we're going to do our axles, and then finally we're going to do the arm change. So let's get going. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take our shocks off to begin. We have our tires out of the way, but let's go ahead and get those shocks off of there. And to go ahead and prepare for what we're going to have to do in the future, let's go ahead and pull the bumpers off right now. The bumper will have three screws, two right down here and one here. We'll take those three screws, two short, one long, and then our bumper will come right out. You will need to push down on the skid plate just a little bit. You're going to have one here, here, and then of course two in the lower arm. And those are a two millimeter. Take note of where your shock screws are on the lower arm. See how they're on the inside hole? We're going to put them back in the same spot. So let's take those four screws out. Okay, put your shocks. Okay, so we're going to take our front shocks and put them on the right side over here because we can't mix them up. Now let's take off the rear bumper. We have the same exact thing. We have one screw right in here. And then we've got two down below, right inside there. Got one screw in here to get out. There we go. Same thing. Push down the skid plate and push your bumper out. So these four are the shock screws. You put those up, and then you got your bumper screws, identical to the front. All right, now let's remove the back shocks. Same procedure, the screws are in the inside holes. That baby's dead. Our four shock screws and remove the shocks. Now we cannot mix up the front and the rear shocks. They've got different size pistons in them and they're each going to take a different spring. So we just took these off of the rear. So now I'm going to put a mark on these. I'm just going to put an R on them. Nobody's ever going to know they're there. See there? I marked rear. So the instructions when you get this, you don't have to do this but it's recommended. It says for number four right here for optimal for optimal suspension performance, replace the 30 weight silicone oil with 50 weight right here in the rear shocks. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I don't have any 50 weight. I do have some 60. So that's going to have to be good enough. Let's get that done. Let's get something to drain our oil in. This is what I usually put my oil in right there. We're going to go ahead and open the package that has our new springs. There we go. All right, guys. So let's take a 2 millimeter. And we're going to remove these little pinch bolts here. There we go. Set those there. Now we can go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and loosen this preload up just to make it a little bit easier on us. Now we can just pull the spring down and remove the retainer. We'll get rid of the spring for now. Okay, we'll put that up there. Those springs are going to go on the front shocks. Let me show you. Remove the shock springs from all four shocks. Install the rear shock springs on the front shocks. So we need to hang on to those. Those are going on the front shocks here in just a second. Now, let's go ahead and get this oil changed out. This is the oil I'm going to be using. Like I said, I don't have any 50 weight. I do have some 60, so that's close enough. So what we do, we're just going to take run the adjuster back down and get it out of our way. 
and now let's just dump the oil out. So we're going to unscrew the top. Underneath it is a little blue seal. See there? We'll take that and put it right there in the paper towel. And let's dump this oil out. Alright, work that piston gently. Okay, we're empty. Now we'll take our new oil and we'll fill her up. Alright, so we're going to run our piston down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and top it off. We have almost level full. You see there? All right, and we're going to work this piston really slowly here to be sure there's no air in it. Okay, it's a good idea to let these sit, if you can, for about five minutes. Find something to stand them in, let them sit, and just be sure no, there's no extra air in there. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to stand here and work this for a few minutes. I'm going to put a few strokes on it and be sure that all the air is out. Okay, I'm pretty confident I've got all the air out. I'm going to top it off just a hair. I want no air to be on the top there. And then we just replace our little cap and then put the top back on just as we took it off. Tighten it up. There we go. It does feel a lot more firm. Perfect. Alright, and then we just replace our spring. We're going to put on our nice new heavy duty one here. And if you get these mixed up with the new, you can tell the difference. One's, one's shinier. The stock one is black. We'll put this on. Just the way we took it off, squeeze it down. We'll replace our little retainer. Put the screw in and tighten it up. And there we go. One down, one to go. Let's get the other one knocked out. seal stayed in the top that time. All right. Okay, and then we just fill it back up. Almost full. Now I'm just going to work it back and forth just a little bit. Get a lot of air out of that one. It's going to take a little more oil after getting the air out of it. Top it off and replace the cap nice and tight. Run the adjuster down, back up rather, put your spring back on. There we go. And replace your screw. But now we're not going to mix up our, our uh, shocks so easily because we know which ones the rear are. Now the rear have the silver springs on them. They got an R on them. They're all put together. There's no mixing them up. So there's a front. There's a rear. Now we need to take care of the front. The front, we don't have to change any fluid. Now we just change our springs. Put the adjuster down to make it just a little bit easier on you. There we go. Pull that off. Remove that spring and just get put it out of the way where you're not going to re-grab it on accident. Get rid of it. And grab the springs that came off your rear shocks. Right here they are. And just definitely just put them right back on. Right there. There we go. And run them 
back in. Okay guys, that's it. We got the shock fluid changed in the rear shocks. We got our new springs put on. We got the springs from the rear shocks installed into the front shocks. So the shocks are ready to go. That step is taken care of. Next video, hope you guys join me. We're going to be doing doing the uh, extended drive shaft tubes. We're going to do all four at one time, get those built and put together, and then we're going to get on with uh, putting the arms on. We'll kind of break this up. All right, guys, I hope I see you in the next video.